Well, good Thursday, uh, late afternoon, early evening, everyone. Uh, we've got a severe weather thre uh, threat for several days. Uh, we've got the Thursday night into the Friday morning, then Friday afternoon. The Friday afternoon one has potential uh, for some very severe weather. And then uh, Saturday evening, uh, maybe as early as the afternoon, and then uh, Sunday as well. So there's a lot going on, but we're just, uh, just to kind of keep things succinct and on track, we're gonna do tonight, which is Thursday night into Friday morning, and then we'll do Friday uh, afternoon. So uh, I'll do more, obviously, as we get closer uh, and uh, down the road, but I wanna kind of stay on focused, so it doesn't, because there's a lot, <laughs> there is a lot. So here we go, this is uh, Thursday, 8 p.m. Uh, notice the storm potential is uh, already out there uh, from North Platte, and really there's a tornado watch in place for the southwestern corner of the state uh, already uh, when I'm recording this. So this moves to the east uh, by 10 p.m. into central Nebraska. It even kind of uh, bubbles up here between uh, southeast Nebraska, uh, just south and east of Lincoln, up and around. That looks like that'd be a warm front and this would be a cold front, that kind of thing right there. Uh, so by midnight, uh, much of the state, especially the central part of the state, getting hit with uh, strong, uh, strong storms. This would be a wind. See how it's pushing out like that? It's, uh, let me clear this off. It's, it's pushing like that. And that, uh, that tells me that there's a wind gust potential. Uh, so that's something we'll be keeping an eye on. 60, 70, maybe 80 mile per hour wind gusts coming out of that. And then not only that, you have little tiny cells embedded in this, like one there, one there, one there, one there that those can spin up. So you have a tornado threat and a, la a large hail threat and a damaging wind threat by midnight. One, two o'clock in the morning continues to be the same, moving past Grand Island and the Tri-Cities into uh, York uh, and eventually the Seward area right here. By 4 a.m. it starts to dwindle a little bit, losing some steam, running into some drier air. As it makes its way through Lincoln, still a chance for some strong wind, uh, some damaging wind, maybe some hail. Uh, and then it tries to stick around through six, seven, eight o'clock in the morning. Uh, and that's just kind of setting the stage for the next round of storms, which we'll get to here in a minute. Uh, tonight, the severe weather threat, you're looking at, uh, this is uh, a slight risk in this area. Let's see. This is the, the yellow, slight risk in the panhandle, southwest Nebraska into uh, parts of uh, south central Nebraska. The slight risk up here, uh, that means one or two, a few storms could be on the severe side. Wouldn't surprise me to see an isolated tornado out of that. The green here, that's your marginal risk. That's one or two severe storms, and that's where Lincoln is at, and Omaha is right on the edge. The this main threat for, uh, for tonight is going to be in this area where there's a, a pretty good chance for uh, some tornadoes. Uh, in fact, that's where your hatched 10% is at. Hatched means uh, anywhere from an EF2 or bigger possible in this area. But notice the, the green shaded area. Uh, this is your 2%. Uh, it's just, it, it's some cooler air, not as conducive to tornadoes forming. So a smaller threat there, a little bit higher threat here into uh, the 5% chance for southwestern Nebraska into parts of Kansas. Moving on to the large hail, kind of the same areas that have the tornado threat have the large hail threat. Uh, the better chance in southwest Nebraska into Kansas. The 15%, uh, the yellow area, that's uh, from the Tri-Cities West. And then Lincoln and up towards O'Neill and down towards North Platte, that's your 5%, just a smaller chance. I think the better chance for everybody uh, in central and maybe even eastern Nebraska is going to be the damaging wind threat. Isolated tornado, large hail threat there as well. Uh, but uh, so just uh, really all threats. <laughs> that's, that's what it's looking like as we head through tonight. So keep that in mind. Okay, fast forwarding to Friday afternoon. Still, there's still some storms out there, but notice that clearing right here. That's sunshine trying to break out. That's going to destabilize the atmosphere. And look at that. Just as I say that, see all of this clear skies, warming, heating of the day, storms popping there, up here. But watch what happens in this area right here. I'm gonna get rid of that arrow and right there. See that line? Any of those could be tornadic. Any of that could have uh, large hail. Uh, and we're talking, when I say tornadic, I mean EF1, EF2, maybe even bigger in some spots. The potential is there. And then the large hail, larger than uh, two inches in diameter. Uh, so bigger than golf balls, uh, probably closer to tennis ball size hail, if, that, if this all plays out like it wants to. And then it moves off quickly uh, between Columbus and Norfolk, and then east of Lincoln and Beatrice headed towards Omaha. 
and then quickly moving towards Iowa as we get to 6 p.m. So this is mid-afternoon. This is from like 2 o'clock in the afternoon to 6 o'clock in the afternoon, and then it's all gone by 7.30. This is 7.30, maybe an isolated uh, storm left, but the very strong storm activity well into Iowa before sunset. So this, be prepared because this is going to happen fast and it's going to move fast. Tornado warnings, when things are moving this fast, one could be issued and it could be 10 miles down the road by the time it's issued. So that you need to know what's going on very, very quickly. And this is by 10 p.m., that's about it. So this area right here uh, has the best chance, this uh, enhanced level three risk has the best chance for all modes of severe weather. The slight risk between Lincoln and Grand Island, and then the marginal risk, the level one. So level one, level two, level three. And that means the black hash marks are in, in play once again. An EF2 tornado or larger is possible from Lincoln to Omaha to Nebraska City to Des Moines to Kansas City. And it, not everybody's going to see it, but somebody has the potential of, uh, and it's what those black hash marks mean is that somebody within a 25 mile radius of those marks have a chance of seeing an F EFT, uh, EF2 or bigger tornado. Two inches in diameter hail, also possible in that same area, 30% chance from Lincoln to Omaha. Uh, so again, this, uh, this could be a severe weather event if everything plays out just right. Uh, it really does determine, uh, depend on what happens tonight as to what will happen tomorrow afternoon. So make sure you stay up to date with the latest forecast so you know what's happening. Damaging wind also a possibility. Here's your forecast for tonight. Uh, that's, uh, we'll see if uh, temperatures eventually drop off into the 50s and then high temperatures tomorrow uh, in the 70s. And notice that warm, warm air right here. That's the area that is going to be most prone to, or, to uh, the, the severe weather outbreak Friday afternoon. So keep that in mind. Uh, that's the information I have for you right now. Uh, please subscribe, like, do all that kind of stuff. That really helps out. And that way you know when I... Uh, update and have a new one of these coming out. If you have the little ding the little bell and you'll know when I uh, publish one of these new uh, forecasts for you. So thanks everybody. We'll see you soon.